Welcome back, everybody. This is Liz Marina 300 speaking. I hope all y'all enjoyed the previous video. I did not actually enjoy making it, and I don't think you did enjoy it because it was a YouTube short where, um, quite literally, I my computer crashed and everything, so I literally couldn't get uh, that final episode out. And if you didn't watch it, to make a debrief, we started the prologue, got to this, like, mecha boss thing, and it just crashed. Everything just went down. But other than that, um, it's okay. It's okay. Here, let me, wel let me welcome the chat. Hello and welcome. Make sure to... Read and follow all the rules. By the way, the screen is purposefully black. That is so, um, you don't know what the new game is, but if you have been watching, you probably already know what the new game is. So, I shall be introducing this new game. Uh, no, it's not really mm, new, new, but it's a one to come back to. First, the sound. Everyone will recognize it. Open. Here we are! Genshin Impact! Welcome back to episode 31 of Genshin Impact. How are you all doing? Let's hope this stream doesn't crash, shall we? And get right into this. I'm actually happy to be back today. <laughs> I don't think I'll get that much done today, but I think it's going to be mainly messing around, trying to relearn the controls and everything, because I haven't been on. I can't be on. <laughs> Uh, I think I spoke English then. Yes. Huh. I wonder which criminal mastermind uh, just protested uh, their innocence in court. Excuse me, what did you ah uh, by the sounds of it? <laughs> Let's go to Monstat Rule. Let's go to Monstat Rule. Oh my gosh! Okay, so it's struggling. It's struggling. It's struggling. Okay, uh, just a moment, everyone. It is to dare say it is struggling. Uh, oh my gosh, why? What? No, go away. Ah, uh, yes, we are wind rise right now. You can't see anything because of my Oh no, 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 don't close that. Okay. Ah, yes, this is perfect. Just optimal settings, eh? Ah, that's okay. Wait. Yeah, this is my streaming again. I was thinking for just a moment. Uh. The markers have changed. I can tell you that. Um. I think. I think something happened with my graphics. Wait, I'm not changing that. Oh wait, it's that Mac. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm not doing that. V sync off, lowest, low. That was the lowest oh, setting I can go. Oh yes, check out mail. Hmm. Can you? 
Okay. By the way, does anyone know any gift codes? Please don't rush. Yes. Um, let's see. Hmm. What? Event. Push to Nadia Dango Free. Okay. Zhao. Ooh, I thought he, I thought, let's see, he was a good. Yamiko. Ooh, who's that? Um. I know who that is. I know who that is. That's Pine One. I know that one. No, 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 no. That guy's in the new Ride of Ascension thing. Kind of watch the thumb. Oh, a TCG. I know that. Um. Uh, okay. Nope. Something that tells me a new case is brewing. What's this? Ah, yes, because I've been gone for a while. Double drops, double wealth. Reunion, local reunions. Unlock Statue of the Seven. Mission. Seven. Uh, okay. Homeward path. Ooh. Act one. Hmm. We'll gain the same thing. Time remains five days. Oh my god. Gosh. What is all of this? Now I've got to deal with all of that. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. Uh. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Don't really know. Oh yeah, I'm venturing 30 it seems. Uh, from what? Current rush. Story quest. Oh, riding Shogun! you Okay, now I got the choice. Oh wait. The choice between a very fast firing rate fire DPS. Or an electro good one. I want- I can't. I- Seriously? So you give me the option, but you don't even give me the option. Wait a minute. Do that. <laughs> no, sorry. I won't actually do that. No. I was gonna activate an order clicker. I can't do that because I no longer have it. Ah, uh, yes. Gliding. Gliding and jumping. Two things I have missed. Uh, first off, how much money do I have, or am I dead or wrong? Uh... No, no. Oh, find a good stuff. Although I did get the brilliant ceiling. I have 1.6 million. Now, the thing I said oh no to is my headphones are about to die. Which means for the next 30-ish minutes, 
There will be, like, no headphones. Ah, uh, well, there will be no headphones, sorry. Not be like. Alright. Uh, I hope that's okay. I can hear it. Ceiling. Right. Welcome to Blue Hunter. How can I help you? Traveler. Perfect timing. Sorry, I know you must be hungry, but could you do something for me? There's been a steady increase of volume of delivery orders recently. I tend to divide them up by region and then label each dish with the name of the person who ordered it. But I've lost the label for this lady. Celia Lily Seafood Soup. All I know is that it's for someone in Springvale. Could you take this over to Springvale and to Springvale for me and find out who ordered it? Rest assured that there will be a hearty meal waiting for you in your return. I'm counting on you. Yes, I've learned to read the dialogue. Three, two, one. Excuse me, I'm getting timed on this. I don't have Sayu. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't have Sayu, my guy. By the way, what is my travel up? Yes, that's actually good. Let's get there, let's get there, talk to Plum. Springvale. Vale. Muffins. Sweet flower. Seriously, Mary? Do they make a move? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This guy. Just no. Where's the treasure hiding? Can you pick out? Not mine. Um. There's this guy right here. So. Yeah, sorry about the frame rate, everyone. Yeah, it's just how it's gotta be for Genshin. Lower settings I can go. It's a laptop after all. It's okay, hopefully after like three days it will get used to it. I'll keep this more. I'm joking. I'm joking. Lighting. Hi, Anthony in the water. Yeah, you managed to deliver it. Here's the fee. Let me check. Perfect. Thanks. Here's a crab, ham, and veggie bake. It's for you. Fresh right out the oven. Eat it while it's hot. Nice. I won't be eating it while it's hot. Wait. Just by doing that, I got a... Okay. Oh, I forgot the satisfaction of this game. 
when it's not being laggy. I know why it's laggy. I can't change that. But let's hope the lag dies down <laughs> at like 10. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I almost forgot. Oh, where are the witches gone? Where are they? And they're gone. I haven't even done all of these yet. Where are they? Where'd you go? I don't buy it. No. Like, why? I can't do a wish this video! Because there's nothing I can wish! Hm. Our bond is strong! Wait a minute, what's my team? Oh, it's L for them. Oh, it's fucking T! Damn, I don't actually have that much stuff! I to say that loads well! Yeah. Stand with me. I want to get him seed because that that there's a thing uh, I think it's one of like a talent or something. Okay, so I can go rush all the way to Inazuma to get his stuff. Or, as I am going to do, I'm going to slowly... Um... I am going to slowly... Get every single mission... That I have postponed for some reason... Other than a couple... Come here, boy! Damn, 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 damn. The wishing system is gone for me. Wonder, wonder. What was one person? You can come join us when we're when you're with you. Oh, you're 
still up there? Boy, I told you to come join us when you're ready. I know you're gonna be ready tomorrow, bro. Right? If I knew that, then I'd get prepared, boy. Stand with me! Uh, destroy the little towers. Oh, yeah. Bring it on! Yeah! Oh, hi. <laughs> And you're basically dead, bun. Stand with me. Right. Actually, got a shot. By air and died. Congratulations. Yeah, they've definitely updated the how it looks. Yeah, they have. That's kind of cool. Well, what else they've updated? Is there new outfits? Wait a minute. Do they have outfits? Huh? No, only one. How about for you? Wait, do I need to unlock the outfits first? Or do I need to like... Hmm, purchase an- Oh! Ooh! Nah, that's kind of don't you think? Blink! Purchase from shop. What shop? What shop? Purchase from the shop. But what? Oh. Criteria for certificate exams Never are straightforward mind. enough. What it really comes down to is whether it's you are willing to put shop. in the time. If you study and practice, then it's really not all that difficult. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, talk to Elon Musk without drawing their, down their, attention. Let's go. Good to see you again, remember me, right? Surely you at least remember our friendship building with the killer child. Don't give me that look. It's the nature of learning a language. You have to practice and practice and practice. Rest assured, your efforts are not wasted. My, spo my spoken Hillichalwin has improved by leaps and bounds since that day. But I also had to get my written Hillichalwin up to scratch. So, after an intense period of research, I now compose a series of original Hillichalwin poems. That said, there's a few lines I'm not sure of. You need to check the meaning. Could you test them out for me? You know, like reading that in Hillichel. To a Hillichel. 
Let's soon see how they react. Don't worry, I've marked the lines where I'm not quite sure the meaning of anyway. I'm sure it can't be too far off. I've already got a I've already got a place it's I've already got a place in mind. The Hiller Charles were looking friendlier than most just read the individual lines and queer to them. Thanks for your help. Come back here after you're done reading the poetry. I want to know everything. Sure thing, Elamas. Um... Hi there. Hillichurl. She was right about the Hillichurl. The, uh, these Hillichurls seem different. Let's get this... Um, this recital over with. Paimon doubts you'll find any friendlier Hillichurl than these. Which line should you start with? Reaction seems intense. It, it seems it isn't talking, but dancing. I guess, same from its body language. That scene have gone well. What do you know? The Hillichol seems to like it. Go on and read the next one. That too. Oh no, watch out, the Hello Charles are incoming. Yeah. Oi! Looking for a fight? Don't get frostbite. Yeah, I really thought I could do this. <laughs> was an issue. Did you make sure and make any notes? Or were they wrong? I'm sorry, it seems I'm not as proficient as I thought I was. I guess I need to study harder. Thanks for the help. Anyway, please take these for your trouble. I need to get a handle on this. I cannot let the Musk family... I cannot let down the Musk family name. Sure thing, Elon Musk's daughter, I guess. Uh, is it that button? Is it that button? It is! Okay. First things first, a lot of these, like, like, what? First off, let's go to this, because first, we, we've completed our daily, completed everything. We can start with her. Well, uh, I forgot to mention in the Discord we are streaming Genshin Impact again. We are now streaming Genshin Impact for the month. There we are. Much better. Please, over here. Sure it has thing. been a while since you joined the Adventurers Guild. Are your adventures going smoothly? Hmm, is that so? Apart from your own skills, reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring. Yes. Another person to count on is always good after all. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is it? <laughs> no. Yep, and it's even harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. Ah, yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. Let me consult our records. Ah, there it is. 
there's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived in Mondstadt lately, dressed in most unusual clothes. Blonde. Dress is all funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. Wait, do you mean... Does be? that stranger's face look anything like hers? Hmm? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look more different. This stranger is a very tall man, and even okay. has an eye patch. Seriously? How does this have anything to do with Kaya? I just can't prove that you're related anyway. That stranger declined the guild's invitation, so I can't say that I know anything about the relationship between him and Mr. Kaya. Nonetheless, you can look for him if you're interested. Perhaps he might accept your commission instead. Wait, I After think all, I know this. It is not uncommon for some adventurers to not want to be limited by the guild, but be happy to accept a fellow adventurer's request. And should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, Ooh. he would certainly be a big help on your journey. Please don't talk down on yourself like that. You are the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius, after all. Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bards in the city, even now. Well, as to further news about him, you may want to ask Mr. Lawrence. He stands guard at the city gate, so he may know something about that stranger. I wish you every success, adventurer. Thank you. So, this was the mission that I had. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Uh, what? This was the mission I had when I first logged into my um, personal account. Uh... Welcome to Mondstadt. One thing. Not first must uh, run some ruins, hold legend city there. By following well, so my question was, what are the official name given? Stone Terror's lair. General information. Came to Knight's Cry, how are you? And then individual found to them. Correct. Strange yet respectable traveller. Or indeed, travellers. Now for the last question. I'm sure you are completely aware of the affairs of Knight's Pavonius within the walls. The acting grandmaster. All right. I shall take a gift. I was meant to talk to you. I said I was meant to talk to your character. What quest? Oh, you've got to be kidding me now. I. Yeah. Okay, we shall go to this one then. I'm trying to slowly do everything, make it so I don't have big quests. So if I don't have big quests, then hooray! It, well, yeah, you get the point. The, I don't really need to go in depth with that. With the, Main missions there. Okay. Yeah. Well. Here we are. Ah, children, come, come. <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. I've been looking for you. Oh, Yay! What is it, Granny? Need any help? Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you in return. A gift? For Paimon? Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, child, you are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. Okay, sure thing. When you thing. traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. Yeah, I've never seen this character. That simply won't do. Especially since, I imagine, you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Yep. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. I will yeah. not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. So, pocket dimension. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using uh, that ability. Just a moment, everybody. Okay. <laughs> In the eyes of an adeptus, that. creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what wow. one might call an exercise of true power. Huh? But that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials. That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! Oh, Lock. settle Lock down voice. now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. What's more, I... Doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. Mm. Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Yeah. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig nice. downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there. <sighs> but almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. Even know. more difficult to find is Maragdus Jadeite, which oh, must yeah. be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or... So it used to be. Ever since the Blackcliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. In any case, oh no. Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. It is indeed. <sighs> Goodness knows if that child will succeed in finding these items. Oh, uh, you're a me? No. Yonfe. Well, since you're an Adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for help, they must be an Adeptus too, right? Hmm, yes. I suppose she does count as an Adeptus. Oh, wait. Yonfe. She counts? How come there are so many Adepti in Leo Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an Adeptus and never even know it. Yep. <laughs> Maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, Granny. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah. Allow me to do the honors. Yenfei. This child here is Yen Fei. Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yen Fei, I believe you've already heard of the traveler and her traveling companion. 
Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. You became uh, one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect what? following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, <laughs> you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui. Before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. Nice. Uh, what a shame. That is how it went down. A shame. A shame that we didn't meet sooner. If we oh, had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes, here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. All right, Yenfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. Uh. You'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this, ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Hi, <laughs> Question. You seem really different from the ones we've met before. An adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time. And then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Uh, up and left, you mean they did a, um, um, uh, a dead? Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Anyway... Let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I yep. couldn't find any at all. Oh, wait, this is what the head is. That off. so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Whoa! That's a really thick book! What kind of things do you write in there? Commercial consultancy. Or, or, Snezhnaya. Ah, found him. Krossel. A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with rare ores. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya, so I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. Oh, you want to join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Uh, wow, an adept is imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. <laughs> Let's be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. Mm-hmm. Wow. Excuse me, what? Oh. I want them so loud. Am 
like it, it's lame. <laughs> Scammer. Hello, Mr. Crossel. How's business been? Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some smaragdus jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? Uh, well, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, in the end I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and had it fashioned into a pair of hairpins. Miss Yanfei, might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize, I have already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Xiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Wait, isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? Sure. No, I'm not worried in the slightest, because I signed a contract with Miss Zhu Chiao before renting them to her. The contract makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable by me to Miss Zhi Chiao in the event that it is shown to be a fake. Guaranteed genuine, with ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false. Yes, these terms are very clear indeed. Of course. This way, both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the contract. In that case, might you know where Miss Zhe Chao lives? We'd like to pay her a visit and have a look at the hairpins. Oh, of course. She wrote her address down when we signed our contract. Here, I'll mark it on your map for you. Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We'll be off now. Shall I do? Y yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do, Monsieur Chow? We understand from Mr. Crossel that you recently rent. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? The hairpins? Huh. I can't lend them to you right now. I... I've lost them. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I hadn't even worn them yet. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value, there's no way I could come up with that amount of money on such short notice. I... My family is in the ore business, too, but business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. We now have a backlog of paid-up orders just sitting around, so we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to complete them. Yep. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. I need this opportunity to mingle and discuss prices. That's what the hairpins were for, to... Well, to keep up appearances. I can't have them looking down on me. But now that I've lost the hairpins, what will I do? Ah, <sighs> why does Paimon have a sudden strong sense of deja vu? Would you really? I sent a commission to the Adventurer's Guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Miss Zhe Chao, would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I have it right here. Let me see. Hmm. That's right! 
Yancy said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Jichao up true. Though surely there must be a win-win solution. Never is. Right. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossell the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account. And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of compensation may end up being significantly higher as a result. Even higher? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Basic failure. Jitya looks like she's about to faint. Probably is. However... All of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? <laughs> anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly would we be able to find out if the Jadeite is genuine or not? Whichever way you look at it, we've got to start by finding those hairpins. Except that if we found the hairpins, there'd no longer be any need to check whether the Jadeite is genuine, would there? Right. Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item, and I should pay compensation per the contract. However much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and respect our contracts. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. I'll go and inform him of the issue, and then negotiate the amount of compensation. Yes, legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, I have some questions about the hairpins. So hold on a moment, Monsieur Chow. When you first touched the hairpins, what did you feel? What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstones set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch, like the finest quality jade. My family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so I am quite certain of my judgment in this matter. Hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Let's head over to Mr. Crossel's. There's something in the air. Something that tells me a new case is brewing. What? When? I get to the thing. And then I'm gonna get this. And after I get that, I can also get the things for this. It will be so awesome. Sorry about that, everybody. You need to be better to put my visual assets. <laughs> Ah, Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jiqiao in tow, too, I see. 
How are the hairpins? I trust you're quite satisfied with them? Hmm. About that. Mm. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Every last Mora. Mora? <laughs> Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? I, I just don't... <sighs> Forget it. Talking won't bring them back. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes, and if I may just confirm again, it was in fact genuine Smaragdus Jedi inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course. Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value. All right, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Please wait here, Mr. Crossell. Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She'd better pay every last mora that they're worth. Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Please wait, Miss Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. Okay. Uh, why do you just like climbing? Climbing is fun, and I guess I like climbing too. I don't like that. Miss Yunfei, what is this about? Are you. Are you here to tell me how much I owe? No. What I wanted to talk about is, there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jadeite after all. Uh, what do you mean? Are you implying that you already sneaked off and found them? Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time-consuming errands for a living. Let's just say I made some deductions. I don't know if Granny told you this, but Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground and contains very concentrated elemental energy. Yes. If mere mortals come into contact with it, well, they'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. It most certainly would not be smooth to the touch. Mr. Yeah. Chow, did you at any time feel unwell while the hairpins were in your possession? No, not at all. I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit unwell. I didn't feel anything special at all. That's the weird girl that I'm never talking hmm. to again. Now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's vicinity. If I have deduced correctly, he may still have the Smaragdus Jadeite in his possession. If that's the case, we should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam right to his face! Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience talking. Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant solutions at my disposal. I'll share them with you in due course. Ooh, nice. Well then, since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, perhaps you could help me, Miss Yunfei. Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? Huh? Does there have to be a contract for everything? Paimon can't even keep track. You add one more every single time I have Feels like Yanfei is even more concerned with them than a certain someone else we know. 
These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written contract. Any work commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here, and then sign on this page as well. And I'll also need your signatures on pages 5, 7, oh. and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. <sighs> this contract has so many pages! Paimon's all out of brain juice again. All right, that should do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through and let me know if you have any questions. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve, once we've got some things squared away. I don't believe you have been part of an investigation like this before. In which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. Miss Yunfei, I have to ask, why are you helping me? Because, as it happens, I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I notice strong traces of geo-energy around Mr. Crossel, so perhaps he has, in fact, secured some. Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter, but either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite also. The idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage? I won't stand for it. But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm... Where can we find someone who processes ore? Ah! I've got it! Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the Jade Mystery. He's a professional when it comes to working with stone and ore. If Mr. Crossel had his ore worked on at all, Chateau would undoubtedly have been his first choice. Something, right? Why, hello there, honored customers. Welcome to... Oh, it, it, it's you, Miss Yenfei. Is, is, is something the matter? Surely not more spurious claims that, that my jade betting is rigged and, and no one can ever win. Oh, I swear on all that is sacred. No, nothing of the sort. Has a Snesh 9 merchant named Crossel enlisted your ore processing services recently by any chance? A Snezhnayan merchant named Krosel, you say? Hmm, I do remember that. He brought me a piece of ore, claiming that it was Smaragdus Jadeite. That was the first time I'd ever encountered it, so I had no way of telling if it was really Smaragdus Jadeite or not. But if a customer insists, far be it from me to contradict them. He was quite generous with his money, too, so I didn't give it too much thought. I processed the ore as per his request. Okay, so he has no idea. Hmm. Do you have any leftover debris from your work on it? Uh, why, yes. It was my first time encountering this ore, after all, so I kept a few loose shavings to study myself later. They're right over there, in fact. Thank you, sir. We'll take a look at them. Try your luck betting on Jade? No. Huh? If my eyes don't deceive me, the cross sections and patterning suggest that these are Smaragdus nephrite shavings. Yes. It's not particularly rare, nor is it especially valuable. It's used to make jewelry all the time. I've heard it said that Smaragdus Nephrite is in fact the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite, though no one's ever proven it. A thin layer of separation, huh? If you must see for yourself, try examining these shavings for traces of elemental energy. Smaragdus nephrite is an entirely ordinary ore, containing no elemental energy whatsoever. Is that so? Well, we might as well give elemental sight a shot. So, did you find anything? 
So they really are different. But wait, how come Jicho was able to tell what it was just by looking at the shards? That's pretty awesome. There's nothing special to it. It just so happens that I've come across a great many of these in my time. Oh. These two stones actually look very similar. Someone without a deep understanding of them would find it very difficult to tell them apart. There may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronomical difference in terms of the market price. And, I'm sure, a significant difference in the cost of having them carved into shape. All right, let's focus up. We're going off on a tangent. Yes, but, never mind, Shirto. Why would Mr. Crossell... <sighs> unusual actions have unusual reasons behind them. Let's take some of these shavings back to Chateau. Miss Yenfei? Might I be so bold as to inquire? Um, if you could just confirm for me once more, sir, Mr. Crossell did indeed claim that the ore he brought to your store was, in fact, Smaragdus Jadeite, did he not? Uh, yes, that's right. I still have a record of the job with me, in fact. Um, here, it says quite clearly, uh, one chunk Smaragdus Jadeite, uncut. Then I have no further questions. But could I borrow the processing record and the stone shavings? Of course. But might I ask why you need them? Oh, I have my reasons. Ah, yes. Please sign here on this affidavit. This document shall serve as signed proof that these stone shavings originated from the, uh, ore that Mr. Crossell brought to your store. Please read it carefully. Hmm, yes, I see, I see. <laughs> Forgive me for asking again, Miss Yanfei, but might I know the nature of the incident on this occasion? I wouldn't say there's been an incident, just a minor issue. Thank you, sir. I'll take these with me. With this hard evidence to back us up, Crusoe will dare try to deny what he did. On the contrary, this is far from sufficient to build a case. We need to find something a little more compelling. If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional jewelsmith. Let me think. Jewelry. Jewelry. Hmm. Nope. Aha! Got it! Singsy. She often helps people to find a jewelsmith. Let's go pay her a visit. Well, that was quick. How come you know so many people? Because lots of people come to me for legal advice every day. As you know, Liyue Harbor is the city of contracts. And contracts, well, I should say laws, are very important to us. But the amendments made by the Tianchuan to our laws are unnecessarily complicated. How can I put this? It just seems like they're hard to understand and impossible to finish. As such, legal advisors like myself provide quite the popular service indeed. So you help them make sense of the law. But didn't you say that it's hard to understand and impossible to finish? Yes, well, that's no obstacle because I've memorized all the legal codices. You memorized them? <laughs> you sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? Oh, this has nothing to do with being an adeptus. I just like reading things. Again, with that casual tone. Well, that's that then. Let's go look for Singsi. Shall, uh, believe? Yeah, Jaffin's way. What should I try this? Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> so, talents, wait a minute. Need a pass, perception, face, and Oh. 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 I need to get to that island, but I don't want to get irritated to the 
quests. Oh, Miss Yenfei, it's you. Has something happened? Did the client from last time... Uh... Have no further trouble from then on? Yes, of course. I'm just here to ask you a few questions. Has a merchant by the name of Crossel asked you to put him in contact with a jewelsmith recently? Crossel? Yes, I remember him. He's a merchant from Snezhnaya, no? Snezhnaya. Yes, he came to me with a chunk of something he called <laughs> Smaragdus Jadeite. The design of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find someone who was up to the job. Eventually, I found an older jewelsmith who made them exactly according to his specifications. This order was on hold for a very long time, and only completed quite recently, which is why I remember it so well. Doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Miss Inksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Crossell commissioned you to find him a jewelsmith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented to you that day was called Smaragdus Jadeite? Yes, I'm sure of it. The hairpins were made using many expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Mr. Crosel wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his behalf. I also kept a copy for my own records. See for yourself, the item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. The inlaid gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document even has the official seal of the Ministry on it. Thank you, Singsi. Now, could you let me borrow this document? Sure. It isn't serving much purpose here anyway. I take it then that there's been some more trouble? Yep. Nothing you need to worry about. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. Thanks again. Why is everyone's first like reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble? Hmm. I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo's. The weirdo with the snake around his neck? What do you want to speak to him for? Because only he can provide an authoritative statement confirming that Smaragdus Jadeite is harmful to the human body. Once we have this final piece of evidence in our hands, we can wrap this case up. This is where we meet the little person. Oh, dead little person. What do I owe the pleasure? Though I'm afraid that if you're looking for our little Chi-Chi, she's out gathering herbs. And if it isn't Miss Yenfei as well, now that's an even rarer honor. What business brings you here, might I inquire? Some charlatans peddling ineffectual medicines again, no doubt? No, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jadeite. Smaragdus Jadeite? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. The Seven Mountain Treatises states that this substance springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. It is abundant in elemental energy, so if someone without a vision is in contact with it for a prolonged period, best case scenario, they fall ill. Worst case scenario, they'll suffer great changes in personality and their illness will only ever get worse. Huh. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to chit-chat. Knowing you, Yenfei, and given the specific nature of your question, I suppose that you're about to ask me to write an official affidavit attesting to the pharmaceutical peculiarities of Smaragdus Jadeite? Right. That is indeed the case. If you would be so kind, Dr. Baiju. No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed a curiosity for Smaragdus Jadeite recently. A Snezhnayan merchant came to ask me about it not long ago. But after I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. I wonder, Miss Yenfei, 
If your pressing business might be related to the Snezhnayan merchant? Ah, you needn't concern yourself about that, Dr. Baishu. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you in due course. You're too kind. Take care now. He needs to take a sit down. That Baishu guy is as weird as ever. Is it just Paimon, or does Did it I feel just... like he was fishing for something back there? Dr. Baiju's always been like that. Well, we I have slid. the evidence we need. Let's go I find slid. Mr. Crossel. I'm clipping that. I'm clipping that. I'm clipping that. You slid. Come on, where is he? We be slide. Perfect. Perfect. And we be sliding. Um, not bad. Yeah, there's some here. <laughs> no. Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for the amount payable. Wonderful. Well then, please, could you do the honors, Miss Yanfei? Of course. Ahem. <clears throat> According to the stipulations of the contract, Mr. Crossel, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. Sure. Wait, what? M me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. Material evidence? What material evidence? Why, Miss Yanfei, you cannot frame me like this! I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagdus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. Indeed. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve as an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Traveler, this is a processing record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Chateau. Seriously? Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? Th that's an unsubstantiated belief. Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. And we are here to talk about evidence, aren't we? Ugh. Looks like our first piece of evidence didn't convince him at all. Seems like he came prepared. What should we- Hard evidence. Something legally binding. We have just the thing. Sh <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the Ministry's seal, after all. It shows that the ore inlaid on the pins is indeed Smaragdus Jadeite. Our second piece of evidence didn't work either. And this guy's getting more belligerent by the second. Hmm. You know, you could be right. Perhaps the hairpins are the real deal after all. Of course I'm right. All the evidence shown supports my story. Well, hang on a moment now, because I do recall one final piece of evidence that we haven't revealed yet. Traveler, would you do the honors? Well, 
What's this? Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from Stone Marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady, while in serious cases, the patient may suffer a dramatic change of personality and fall seriously ill. Mr. Crossel, were you aware of these peculiar properties of Sp I... I had no idea. No idea, you say? Hmm, I'd guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item, I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient, considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger you posed. Don't worry, Mr. Crossel. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigations. What? Wait! Wait! I... I knew. Oh, so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossel. But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dangerous properties beforehand, why would you... Huh? No, uh, I... <sighs> the hairpins aren't actually... Aren't actually inlaid with genuine Smaragdus Jadeite? Is that what you were about to say? You do understand, Mr. Crossel, that this means that you will have to pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora? Mr. Crossel, your answer, please. My client and I are waiting. I... 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 Yamp, he's seriously intimidating yeah. right now. It's like she's a different person. I admit it. I confess. The ore I had inlaid on those hairpins was... was Maragdus Nephrite. But I'm a victim in all of this, too. I invested a great deal of time and money into acquiring that small amount of Smaragdus Jadeite in the hopes of turning it into a piece of jewelry that would fetch a fine price. But after receiving it and carrying it around for a few days, I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I... I was in a constant state of agitation, too. I went to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked out only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that money go to waste? That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite, which is almost indistinguishable from Smaragdus Jadeite. I kept the real Smaragdus Jadeite in a specially made box. I daren't touch it again. I was worried that someone would see through it, which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. And then, to top it all off, Chichao lost the hairpins after I rented them out to her. Exactly! If they weren't the real deal, why'd you make her pay so much, hmm? I... I didn't want to either, but when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could make off it. If word got out that I sold a pair of fake hairpins, then my days in this line of business would be over. All right, let's cut the appeals phase right there. I fail to see what bearing any of this has on your transaction with my client. According to the contract, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora, and that is final. Ten... ten times? Crozo looks like he could faint any second! As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, 20% of that sum will go to me. So she gets 20%? That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite! Uh -huh. Um, there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much, Mora. Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. Legally or not, I think I owe some compensation for that. Uh, Ms. Jichou? However, Mr. Crossel, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider us even. What? But... I... All right, then. This cursed rock's brought me enough grief as it is. Miss Yenfei, I'll turn this Maragdus Jadeite over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? Well, um, that's not quite how the rules say this should go. But whatever. It'll do. Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yunfei. When you have the time, I'll be sure to visit and express my thanks more appropriately. Oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow, have you and Mr. Crossel come to an understanding? Hmm? Well, yes, I believe we have. 
Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. Is... is that so? That's good. That's good. Actually, Mr. Crossel, I'd like to talk business for a second, if I may. I could see from the hairpins you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair stock of fine ores. If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I think we could do some fine business between us. I, uh, let me think for a moment. Well. Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants, too. Exactly. Usually when someone tells us they've lost something, we end up searching all over the place for it. But this time, you managed to solve the problem with just a big stack of documents. Yep. Uh, even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpins. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. An adeptus. Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? In which case, you would have heard what Granny said. Liuai Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. The title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. Okay. In any case, don't you think that the Liyue Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs adeptal powers? Paimon can think mm. of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. I think it's more just a reason. Well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. Yeah. I bet she's been on tenterhooks for a while now. I have no idea what that is, but let's go. Genuine Smaragdus Jadot. Hello. Don't fail me yet. Just hold out another year. And hopefully I'll be able to sell that to the platform. How did it go? Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? Good, good. Then we have all the materials we need. Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. Yep. I'm off, then. Bye! Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts, too. Come now, child. Are you leaving or are you not? If you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot, hmm? <laughs> I'm leaving! I'm leaving! He's <sighs> definitely having experience. That child. Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day when he stood beside Rex Lapis. Ah, indeed she is. Liu has changed, and the Adepti must also learn to change. Yan Fei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Ah. Liyue is not the same place I once knew. All right, then. Let us speak of this no more. Back on topic. I believe that I still owe you a little gift. Oh, Paimon's so excited! How is it made? 
<laughs> it is but a single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. Madam Ping begins to construct the gift. <laughs> there we go. This serenity pot is all yours now. Serenity. Hold you it firmly. It if you were to drop it, oh goodness, who knows what might happen. Take these blueprints with you as well. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively inside. Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it. Let's go! We want lots of just bells. Into the pot. Okay. Not yet. Out of Smoking or bird? have a visitor. It's a huge finch! Excuse me, I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit, and you may call me... Um, hang on a moment. Oh, call me... I suppose you may call me... Tubby. I don't like being So little. you're the little helper Madam Ping mentioned? Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. She told me much about you. You may leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. Your journey may be far from over, but at least this way you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of thus. We teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may consider me a butler, if you will. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't... Yes, these are the blueprints I'm talking about. Go on, open them up. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare the necessary materials. Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint shall appear within this teapot. Power of creation. Wow! Written that station. Takes? Then we could build a whole thing inside, could we? 
Hmm, I doubt it. A golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point in the past. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. A golden-eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders who could that be? I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that Adeptus again since. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. Right. Right, so I wouldn't have. Hey, right. Oh, uh, that's actually quite good. Oh, uh, um, may have a little bit of problems soon. Okay. 
Everyone has this place, right? The lantern light's coming soon. I believe. Even be actually. It's a point that I haven't claimed yet. You gotta be kidding me. It's so far down. Oh well, it looks like I'm gonna be having to navigate that as well. Go do some more quests. Find those books in the vault. Alright. This seems exciting. Really no. Definitely for a future quest. I'm just going to find this on the surface and wander way back to that point. Oh, chess. Is this an answer from this world? I just forgot you had to pick it up. Oh, a little nine. That's the new one. Probably shouldn't be this in my employer then. Oh, 
It's all coming out now. It's all coming out now. Magnus Jade, I mean, yeah, that's Magnus Jade. I don't have the eye to do that anymore. Uh, what? <laughs> Actually, where has she been? Is the quest word or something? I'll go off to them. Okay, um... Thank you. 
for a fight? Damn. Our bond is strong. There you are, Ethan. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I actually forgot to do some. Yeah, we'll go blank for us, I think. I'm ashamed of that too. Uh, Oh yeah, we need to update the tags and everything. Signals are uh, also other things I need to upgrade this gun. to punch. 
Found something I didn't like. First to a teleporter suit is very okay. That's well. Hmm. Well, I'm going to absolutely annihilate this girl. There. Uh, uh, our is strong. <laughs> Let me amuse myself. Bring it on. <laughs> Wingblade! Yeah. 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 Oh, what well, looks like we've got our way in there, bro. So. Quite easy. Actually, quite easy. I'm not doing that. You can go save yourself another day. But we're going to do everything eventually. Eventually. But not all right now. So don't want it. Just don't feel like it. <laughs> Let's go to the treasure, shall we? Where did she go? It's just okay. Okay, long shoot in. Let's go long shoot in. Let's go. Oh, hi. Oh, 
This is outside me door right now. What's up, Freya? I'm working right now, Freya. Uh, what I've heard. No. <sighs> That's okay. I only have like 49 minutes left of them pointing out. There's four now. There's one. Who says we can't do that distance, eh? Probably my amount of stamina, but yeah. Hi, Tessa. Tessa's my cat. What's up, cat? Hello. I have no idea what you're meowing about right now. Which no idea. There's one there, one there, one there, found them. Let me go to that one first. I hope it's actually right though. Does it they look the same? Well, not really. If they look the same, they're not probably the same, but... Generally the same thing as that. I 
You've got to be kidding me. Not a... It's... Pyro one, one of the only ones that I actually have a difficulty on facing. Yeah, my rank rewards. I can do this in a moment. The convention. Oh, now that my rank will be. What's the day? Let's. Didn't forget nothing. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Expeditions. They've been on expeditions for months now. Here's Badger again. <laughs> mm. Oh. But now, food. Add Astra Abyssosk. Yay. This much will have increased. Add Astra Abyssosk. Uh, I thought we did do that one go. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Find the find it. Well, I'm guessing it's probably there. Or here. I mean, it's a 50 50. Let me check out this spot first. Scene. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That was perfect. I don't mind anything. That is perfect. Get with me. I'll settle this.
not that simple. They know what's gonna happen. They literally know. You activate this, and that thing activates over there. Okay. Restriction. <sighs> Starts to sing, see the boss in the bathroom, and starts to act like it. I think it's perfectly functional. All right, this will do. completed a couple of quests in this video, hopefully by episode 10-ish, we should have all of the side quests done. Well, oh well, that's it there, we can at least get everything off our mind. Like... Be that bad, right? Should be able to do it, you know? Should be able to do it. Let's just finish the job and leave. There's no need to waste time. I guess. Oh, All yours. This mission is unable to be done. Okay. So that's for our starts here. Right here. Riding down bottom. Greetings on a rainy night. Apologies for not meeting you before, but things were had had a bit hectic. Nonetheless, I heard good deeds from the other nights. Yep. You know what a cool is. World exploration. Reputation level two. The sin doesn't have done and haven't done. At the final one, we get these notes. What in this background? So many different things. Anime treasure compass? 
Raising early. Interesting food to a power. Pushing the wind. Can I still be in the Ooh! That one seems doable. Go right here, shall we? We're doing a bouncy! Mainly because I want that thing that helps me with gliding. What's that sound? It guides me to them. Doesn't that seem like a bit of cheating? All right, this will do. Go on. Well, I need to resonate more with the sheer. Oh. There you are, eavesdropper. Why are you there? Right? <laughs> Let me amuse myself. <laughs> Okay, that must be under, is it? Baby me ball? Because it has to be under. Is that a change? It's literally under. There's gotta be a cave somewhere. Is it this? There we go, let's see. Let's see.
so that must be that's in my bed. I actually sound like this down to me. It's okay. Alright, it's okay. Minecraft. Um, oh, let's see. Well, it's okay. Well, look at me at least. I have a... There. So, well. Nah, I'm gonna tell them I have to abandon the quest. Some new mission. I wanted to. Band it. Because I can't do it. That's okay. Oh. 
This world? That should have done a lot. Actually, it is. So I'll navigate to it. Uh, oh. I'll keep this close. Die, so that's a kill. Well, that comes first. How many more of these will I be quick? How much do you want them though? No, it's the main one. But 
<laughs> no, I just like the one. Oh no. So that's it. All found and done. So look at that. There's many of these side posts, so I don't need to do them later. Oh my. Actual adventures, dude. Okay, I don't want to do this mission. This mission is far too near, especially in the snow. We're going to the actual adventure, girl. I haven't been here in a, in a quick bit, right? Yeah. Hold on, doesn't look like I'm actually going. That's three side for me. Not that same. Although I'm not sure when I inside out. Outside too. Oh, 
Where? Bro, just take me out for your reason. So we're pretty close to the end of this stream slash video today. Gotta be seven. This wasn't giving me an opportunity to go get like flowers and stuff. Around. Okay. Hmm. I noticed Zero didn't join today. My mod. That's okay. So she just mentioned look for them. Mm, oh well. I have a bunch of them anyway. Thank 
quest complete already. So, uh, I believe we have like two extra quests, unless they get longer, or oh, this quest for Tom the boss. to like I don't like I almost completed a lot of quests and then decided to yeah no yeah okay, this one is like I haven't been doing that go over there simple enough I was trying to read so I didn't get in the line of sight. Stand with me! So I still need to find these stair places. Show me no, 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 no
from this world? And I don't think trap of random. So shit. But where? But where? <laughs> so there was a treasure buried here. But the treasure was located beneath a giant golden tree. Go collect the treasure. That giant treasure we saw. Currently battling someone. No Don't push your luck. You gotta be king. Not breaking a sweat. <laughs> it isn't time for a break yet. Out of my 
Three hours yet. It's three minutes to ten, and it's three minutes to the other show. Can you see me? Can you play? What? I'll play when it's three minutes to the end. Sorry about that, everyone. Yes, and it is indeed three minutes to the end of the show. See? And my left went to the same. Freeze! This is bad. Ah! Oh, so sorry. What are we doing? I've got to kill him. Treasure, but um, sadly, that's all the time we have today. If there was more time, I'm sorry, but today, this is all the time we have. So, uh, for the people on Twitch, thank you so much for joining the stream today. I hope you all had a great time watching. I actually had a very wonderful time playing this today uh, for all of you. Um, and uh, for the people watching this back on YouTube, thank you so much for watching to the end as well. Um, and on the right here shall be my latest video. On the left here shall be my first video of this series. In the center here shall be uh, my subscribe button. Uh, uh, no, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.